check. Check, check. Check, check. I'm really sorry about the audio quality, guys. This is going to have to do. It's an early setup. The priority is getting the exercise done, though. Uh, stream will have to be... God, this is crap. I'm really sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, let's go. I'll probably just avoid talking. Check, check on the Twitch side.
use closure and I'll do it inside a closure script well I'll do it inside our, our regular closure REPL yeah
My license for IntelliJ cursive expired, and also I'm using a new environment, so uh, might as well just acclimate to it now. What's this? Alright, so I'm going to forget about that for now. Alright, that's sufficient live reloading as far as I'm concerned. Ah, not live reloading, but uh, sufficient reloading as far as I'm concerned. Alright, so now let's look at the problem statement again. Uh, where are we in the stream? So 15 minutes of setup. And this will be a talk for later. Something that I realized once a couple years ago. So this is how it'll end up being. I'm just going to do the first case. 
all inside of this one file and then we'll break it into the test harness. for that is it's just kind of clear to do the very first example where you can see it all it's all on your cognitive plate in one spot Okay, double check uh, reload functionality. there is our scaffolding so what we need to do is go through and for each two in a row then we add the number to the to the sum so these are four in a row so nothing and then here because the previous one was one we add it each digit matches the next no digit matches the next so here we look ahead or we look behind and uh, we also loop back to the beginning All right, so the top is just gamification so you're standing in a room with the digitization quarantine written in LEDs along one wall. The only door is locked, but it includes a small interface, restricted area, strictly no digitized users allowed. Goes on to explain that you may only leave by solving a capture to prove that you're not a human. Apparently, you only get one millisecond to solve the captcha, too fast for a normal human but it feels like hours to you. The capture requires you to review a sequence of digits, your puzzle input, and find the sum of all digits that match the next digit in the list. The list is circular, so the digit after the last digit is the first digit in the list. 
And then here's the examples that we have in the code. So how do we do this? We need to iterate over the pin. So we can do C in pin. So we're just going to print it out and then exit. No digit. Do you seek of char array? I see, I see. So there's kind of two approaches. You can do modular to get back to the first at the end, uh, mod the length of the string. There's also uh, circular buffers, which may be a solution, but um, they're both pretty simple. And it's just like whichever is most pragmatic is gonna be my choice initially. Because um, there's a good chance that a circular buffer could do that below the surface if it's not, uh, uh, persistent, oh, oh gosh, these words, <laughs> persistent. And atomic, I think.
So it works there. That's interesting. Four digit in pin is what I originally had. Let's try instead of four. Sometimes parallelism bites us. Um, there's do seek as well, which is actually looking for side affecting behavior. Okay, so do seek works here. That's interesting. So you have the laziness bit us. Okay, so enclosure and add-on is how you can store state in such a way that it doesn't disappear um, with the lexical scope. My terminology is weak here because it's been about two years since I've really done closure every single day, hardcore, you know, eat, breathe, sleep. I'm doing more of a product role right now where I happen to use closure. So reacquainting. So this is a little bit off in that we're talking about digit and previous digit. Where are we in the stream? 34 minutes. pair we you know there's other approaches we could do too like uh, you know get some kind of seek going um, maybe make it return groups of the two digits that we then check but don't want to get too complicated um, just hope that it doesn't end up looking too uh, non-functional with the atom in here it's always a concern like you have to ask yourself do I really need this atom because the atom is the the bottleneck of all these things And 
and I like to try to keep my variable names and algorithms named as consistently with the English as possible. Um, and if that's not possible, then it means the English isn't the best, but we'll see how this goes. Next digit in the list. So essentially we want to iterate through the digits and just from the spec perspective, if this digit is equal to the next digit, then we include it. Um, so our special case would be the last digit if the last digit is the same as the first digit. That seems pretty straightforward. As we go now, we're checking a digit and we keep track of its previous digit instead of looking ahead. Um, so as we can tell from the output, um, this would be actually where we're checking the first digit. So it's like we have to, di to buffer one digit ahead. Um, there might be a way to do it with a linked list as well. A circular linked list would be good. Now in this case, we're also going to need one extra iteration. To check the last, uh, we should have digit with the first digit and previous is the last digit. So we've got to solve uh, a case on either side. Quick and dirty, we can append the first digit to the end. Whiteboard's monopolized. Look at that.
Ta-da! All right. Four zero nine. Okay, those are our cases. to shape the environment first. So it just got ourselves into a place where we can actually start writing code. Oh, you guys can't even see what I'm writing, too bad. I just wrote the test cases. I like the approach of just appending the first character to the end. The con is that we have to allocate another string, but the pro is that enclosure. Um, Doing that actually just, it's incredibly optimal because like this is input one or input before we start. This is uh, first of input. And this will be um, just a new string. But because it's a persistent data structure, uh, the original one won't be changed. Although internally, uh, it'll probably, so strings in the JVM are immutable, so we will probably have to allocate a new copy of the string, or a new string buffer and copy it from one to the other. So it will always be at least O of N because of the string copy. But it'll be O of N because we have to iterate over anyway. So effectively it's gonna be O of N plus one. Okay. So I think this is what we're going to do anyway, but just for the sake of whiteboarding it. 
and then sorry for the bump. I'm only grudgingly doing this practice anyway. No one likes to do these. So that's what we'd expect. And then we'll loop over the working pin rather than the pin. So here again we check So because we're swapping previous and next, let's think about this. So we're just checking that. Um, that one matches and that one matches and that one does not match. And then Some will be zero. Okay, so that one passed. So do we have a verb for this that the specs give us? So CAPTCHA, review a sequence of them.
So the the word they used was sum, if I recall correctly. Next, first digit. Yeah, find the sum of all the digits that match. So we can call this uh, matching sum. Matching what? Right. Um, We can call it sum pin, and then we can say funny check pin some pin yeah the dangers of working in the REPL we could also call it perhaps read pin anyway splitting hairs do that before the pull request right So we'll make this into a plural thing. So this one will just take run test with expected an input. Get rid of this let. of cases. And then um, we'll just have
32. So here we've got one, two, three, four, three, four, three, four, three, two, one. These are no fun to count there. Two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, two. So there's one, two, three. That should be good. delimiter print ln if let defin line if oh here we go I got that one print line if let deafen and what's wrong with this now Oof. Just for readability, swap these. One, two, three, four, zero. Craziness nine. All right, the last.
last one failed. Why is this? problem here. <laughs> Instead of increment, um, we need to plus it with the digit. Womp. Womp. Isn't there a parse? And number Integer parse int. There we go. I'm just going to go char. I'm just going to do the laziness. String from that and then integer parse int. And hopefully we're balanced. Four, one, two, three, and then it's the end of the win. Yep. Okay. So, yeah. Whoa, no good here. That should match. Oh, that's that's what we want. This is a problem in the test case. Holy cow! You never want that. Sum of three. Okay, it checks passed. All right. So where are we in the stream? So we're at 105. Everything or 105 passes. Uh, without closure test. Okay. So finally, to make this maintainable, um, we will just make a little test case. And run test will likely go away. Um,
doing that in practice is is kind of a pain in the butt. Um, I'll just do case two. Testing is where sort of business and programming usually meet. So you kind of have to agree upon a little bit of a DSL that means something to both of you. And this guy will be nine, zero, four. Okay, so we don't need run test anymore. We don't need this anymore. But what does some pin refer to? Uh, we've already brought this in. Typically not the best practice. And uh, looks like we just use def test. So four, three, Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Didn't we just see this work? One, one, two, two. Let's make 
capture this. Past, past, past. All right, so what's the problem? That should match and that should match. that it's zero so I just want to see the output change two failures ah okay okay <laughs> yep error with uh, the transcription process One sixteen. Okay. Clean it up.
Okay, we'll call this the done time. So 120 done. One, two, three, four, three, two, three, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay. I'm just doing this to make it into a template for the next one. Looks good for that one. And then we'll try the craziness. And then just one final run, make sure everything's still good. Okay, I don't know why that didn't work before. Some minor typo, I guess. Path equals home slash bin. I don't know.
cool. So I'm gonna do another one of these uh, shortly. So till next time guys, uh, be good to each other. Have a lovely day.